Hello and welcome to the PCOS and Nutrition YouTube channel. My name is Despina and I'm an online coach and personal trainer. And in today's video, you're going to find out how to overcome PCOS fatigue. Before I get started, please give this video a like, it really helps the channel out. And subscribe for plenty more videos. Fatigue is a very common symptom that women with PCOS um, suffer from and it's one of those symptoms that you just can't control. You, deep down you like you want to scream but you can't because you're just so exhausted for like for no reason it's not like you, you've run a marathon or something. So it's one of those symptoms that you just not you can't you're not really in control of your body no matter how many hours of sleep you get, no matter, no matter how much you relax, no, ma no matter how much, you know, you just, you know, rest, it doesn't make a difference. So in this video, you're going to find out how to overcome this piece of fatigue. But the thing is, the, pr the approach you take is dependent on what type of pieces you actually have. In order to help with this symptom, you need to get to the root cause, which is a hormone imbalance. In order to get to the root cause of your PCOS, you have to find out, you have to know or find out what type of PCOS you have. So in this video, you're going to find out what you need to do to overcome your PCOS fatigue. So number one, manage your blood sugar levels. Around 70% of women with PCOS are also insulin resistant. Insulin resistance is when the cells in the body have difficulty absorbing glucose in the blood and therefore there's a buildup of sugar in the bloodstream. Insulin is like the key that unlocks the door to cells. Glucose is stored in the liver as glycogen, but some of it is also stored as fat. So women with PCOS that are also insulin resistant usually suffer from PCOS fatigue as a result of insulin resistance. So the ups and downs in blood sugar levels, that's why it's important that you manage your blood sugar, like keeping it stable. With insulin resistance, as the body's unable to, as your cells are unable to absorb the glucose, that energy, you're not getting that energy necessary to, you know, fuel your day. So as it's all getting stored as fat, you're not really having that sufficient amount of energy. So that fuel to, you know, if you think of it as a, um, the car engine, like full and empty. So you're kind of like on empty. So in order to help your insulin resistance, you need to get to the root cause of that insulin resistance. Uh, by helping to manage it. I recommend is opting for a low GI, low glycemic index diet. So low GI foods, um, low low glycemic index carbohydrates. Carbohydrates that are complex. So um, foods like quinoa or um, sweet potatoes or rolled oats. These are the foods that get energy that's released slowly and does not spike your blood sugar intense by in your insulin. So they keep your blood sugar level stable releasing energy slowly for the day which which is what you want you don't want that spike in blood sugar after eating something like after eating something like white rice where your blood sugar levels just spike and then like you get all this energy and then you start to dip or when you eat something like donuts and then you get all this spike of energy and then you know after like half an hour an hour you're kind of like tired lethargic so you don't want that you don't you don't want to be in that lethargic zone you want it to be in that stable you know constant energy so that's enough that's the tip another tip to manage your, manage your blood sugar levels is to balance your meals so combine all macronutrients together avoid just eating a carbohydrate heavy meal make sure you're combining it with fats some protein just get a balanced meal to make sure your, your blood sugar levels remain stable another tip is to exercise regularly a great way to help with insulin resistance increasing insulin sensitivity is to do resistance training and high intensity interval training. These are two approaches that research has been has found to be highly beneficial in helping with insulin resistance. Another way to manage pieces fatigue and overcome it is to manage your stress. Chronic stress is another reason um, women with pieces often experience um, fatigue. Stress is a common part of our life. Everyone experiences stress. Stress is everywhere. It means difficult to avoid it, but it can be managed and reduced. While it is normal to experience some stress in our lives, the long-term chronic stress is what 
can be damaging to our health. So another type of PCOS is adrenal PCOS. Our adrenals also produce androgens. Therefore, it's important to manage our stress in order to be able to balance our hormones and heal our hormones. Long-term stress can result in cortisol resistance, which in turn leads to adrenal fatigue or burnout. This is where cells become resistant to the effects of the hormone. When your body becomes resistant to cortisol, this is when you begin to lose that energy and always feel fatigued. So some tips to help reduce your stress is go for a walk, do some low intensity exercise. This will, this will help with um, reducing the cortisol um, because high intensity um, does not help in um, lowering cortisol levels. But studies have found that low intensity is a great way to help with cortisol, with high levels of cortisol by helping them, to helping to reduce Read a book Watch a comedy, get something to like up, up to lift, to lift you, you and make you laugh and take away some of those stresses. Um, listen to a podcast, call a friend, have a laugh, go out, do some yoga or meditate. Meditation has been shown to be so good for um, de-stressing and you know getting your mind right and thinking thinking clearly yeah. at peace and just breathing in and just relaxing does take a while to you know learn and get used to so if you do begin and you can't do it and you're just you know you're thinking about stuff even when you're not supposed to just you know ease into it it'll become easier the third way to overcome pieces fatigue is making sure you have um making sure you're getting enough nutrients a possible cause of um pieces fatigue or fatigue in general is nutrient deficiencies it is suggested that b vitamins can help combat um, fatigue and improve sleep. Vitamin B6 may also help with sleep and fatigue as it is involved in the synthesis of melatonin. Further supplements you could take is magnesium. Magnesium is a supplement I recommend many women with PCOS to take or just people in general because a lot of the time we are actually deficient in magnesium and for both types of PCOS, adrenal and adrenal PCOS when you're constantly um, stressed and high with high levels of cortisol, your body becomes deficient of magnesium. So the more magne so the more cortisol you're producing, the more magnesium you need. And if you're not su supplementing back in with some magnesium, you're really deficient in it. And if your diet is very high in carbohydrates or sugar, that's another reason to supplement with magnesium. Because magnesium is secreted through the kidneys um, due to a high carbohydrate sugar intake. You can find magnesium in avocados, dark leafy green vegetables, dark chocolate, nuts, seeds and whole grains. My final tip is to stop drinking coffee. If you suffer from adrenal PCOS, avoiding caffeine can help with overcoming fatigue. This is because caffeine is a stimulant and it releases both cortisol and adrenaline. So this in turn causes your body to um, switch to the fight and flight response. So every time you drink caffeine, you're forcing your adrenals to secrete even when they don't have anything left to give. So eventually your body starts to crash and you start to feel even more lethargic and tired. Adding grass-fed butter to your coffee can help with the release of caffeine. So instead of getting that shooting up, so instead of getting that spike in adrenaline, it's kind of that slow release of caffeine that energy so you don't get that um increase in that drop in and furthermore avoid drinking caffeine at night some people it doesn't affect but some people it does affect so you know try avoiding caffeine at night but also but also research has shown that caffeine can um cause insomnia so thank you so much for watching the video i really hope this it helped you out and you got some tips and were able to analyze why you're experiencing pieces of fatigue apart from the hormone imbalance you know pinpoint whether you have insulin resistant pcos or adrenal pcos you know just different ways to help tackle the the root cause of pcos so you know try and uh, manage your stress either way um try and balance your blood sugar you don't want those um you know spikes in insulin and you don't want you know, you want to have stable blood sugar. You want to, you want to be able to manage your stress, and but also making sure you're getting enough nutrients. You don't want to be deficient in any nutrient. So you know, supplement with some magnesium. Make sure you get enough vitamin B6, vitamin B12, 
and you should be good to go. But as always, consult a doctor before you change anything in your diet or lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope this helped you. And I'll share this video to help someone else you might know or experience some pieces of fatigue or just to help people overcome this very uh, exhausting symptom. See you in the next video.